Hello, hello. Hello, how's everybody doing today? Greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm gonna get started in probably one more minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I wanna introduce myself. My name is Alisa, Apostle Alisa Biggers, and I would like to welcome you to Deliver Me Nugget. Um, I uh, uh, one of my uh, assignment on the uh, in the body of Christ is to inner healing and deliverance, and what I pretty much what it's about it's about teaching um, present day truth, Amen. Blessings, 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 and so this is not going to be a long teaching. It's just an encouragement. One of um, some saints can't do it by themselves, and so part of my assignment is I'm going to coach people who want to yoke up with me, and we can schedule a session. Blessings, Apostle, whether or not we can do it on Zoom or we can do it on the phone, and I will walk you through um, present day delivery truth through the preaching and teaching of the Word of God. So this is a spinoff of my deliver me from me. But today we're going to talk about trusting in God. How many know that this is a time that we really got to trust God? And a lot of times we get disappointed because people have let us down. People who we thought that should have been there for us that proved that they mm -hmm. uh, uh, they wasn't true to what they said that they was going to do. Oh, we've been disappointed by things in our life. But I just want to encourage you to say, trust, and God told me to say, trust in the Lord. Trust in God with all your heart. And Proverbs 3 and 5, he said, trust in the Lord. When I looked up that word, trust, it means to seek refuge. We got to begin to seek refuge. We got to begin to depend on God. Bless to lean on him, to depend on him, to cast our cares upon him. Because a lot of times people say, I trust God, but it's easy to say it in words. And God is when it looks like what he promised you, when it looks like it's not coming to pass, when it looks like all hell is breaking loose. But he's saying, I want you to seek refuge in me. I want you to trust in me. Because guess what? When we're going through what we're going through, we're being tested testing us to see are we going to believe what he said are we going to believe what it looks like in the natural and a lot of times we've been believing what it looks like in the natural we've been believing what people say we've been believing even our feelings and i want to tell you you can't even believe your feelings he gave me some points to tell you. He said, stop looking at your situation and your circumstances. We can't, we can't keep looking at what we're dealing with. Oh, I'm tired of going through what I'm going through. We got to stop mumming and complaining. This is what we got to begin to say, Lord, help me to understand. Help me to trust you. Help me to seek refuge in me in you. Help me on you. Help me to lean on own understanding because that's what the scriptures say trust in the lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding in other words it's not gonna make sense to your natural man you can't try to figure god out god needs for you to this is stay in the word we got to get in the word and you got to find a scripture that apply to your situation and whenever you feel discouraged whenever you feel pain whatever that you're dealing with you got to speak what that word says regardless of what you feel because can i tell you your feelings will lie to you. your feelings and emotion will think that god left you and god has not left you can i tell you that's right woman of god you got to use some faith and if you're going to trust god it's going to take faith he said it's impossible to please me without faith and guess what faith is faith is what you don't see faith is what you don't feel Knowing faith is a knowing that i know that god cannot lie faith is knowing that i'm going to trust him i'm going to him of what it looks like. God said that you even got to stop comparing yourself to other people. Well, they got this, they got that. God said you got to understand this is a relationship between you and I. We can't keep on <clears throat> looking at other people's relationship with God and trying to figure and trying to compare ourselves to them because you don't know what they're doing. You don't know what God they serving. You don't know what they're dealing with. And so a lot of times we got to stay focused, blessing woman of God, because the enemy want to have us at a place where you die. He want to have you at a place to give up because you look at it. You say, I've been praying. I've been fasting and I don't see nothing that God is doing. But God said, you got to begin to encourage yourself. You got to begin mm -hmm. to get in that word. When you feel like, you know what, it's not coming to pass. Get in the word. When you feel like, you know what, I'm just frustrated. Cut on your praise and worship music. A lot of times we got to stop thinking that it's going to magically happen. You got the Bible said we have to contend for the Let us contend. Contend means that I got to get in that word. I got to 
watch myself. I got to speak the word, telling that devil, regardless of what it looks like, I'm going to believe God. Can I tell you, you can't even get distracted because when those distractions come, they're coming to get you out of place where you won't believe God. You got to begin to tell the devil, I cast down every wicked imagination. I cast down every lie. I cast down every that would try to make me forget, to make me uh forfeit the promise what God had told me. He said that we got to stay focused. If you're going to trust God, you got to stay focused. And can I tell you, you got to pray over your prophecies. You got to pray over your promises. Even though it looked like you've been praying for months, you've been praying for years. Can I tell you, you got to continue to pray. Can I tell you that we're in the biggest battle when you look at on in this world, in our nation. This is where we got to know how to contend. This is where you got to know how to fight. This is where sometimes you've been praying two and three times and you still don't have a breakthrough, but you got to continue in a place of prayer. Can I tell you your feelings and your emotions think that God don't hear you. Your feelings and emotions will make you think that you're missing God. It's where that devil wants you to get caught up in how you feel. Can I tell you, this is a season we can't even be moved on how we feel. This is where we got to begin to seek the protection of God. We got to begin to seek the refuge of God. This is where you cannot even... Uh, uh, get in a place where you're looking at somebody else to tell you this is where you got to go back to a place of prayer and begin to give God back his word. Then this way you got to ask him, God, is it something that I'm doing? Do I in my heart? Have I, do I have somebody who I need to forgive that I have not forgiven? This is where you got to yourself because when we're talking about trusting in God, you got to stop. We got to stop thinking that just because I prayed that I'm automatically right because a lot of times we got things in our lives that we have talked about people. We may be holding something in our heart. We may hold an unforgiveness. We may be uh, spoke up against the things of God. And see, a lot of things will stop us from getting the blessings. And this is where we got to begin to say, Lord, forgive me. This is where we got to begin to repent and say, you know what? Forgive me for what I said. Forgive me for my thought patterns. Forgive me for mumming and complaining. Forgive me, oh Lord, for looking at somebody else and not keeping my eyes fixed on you. This is a place where we got to constantly examine ourselves. We can't just automatically just think automatically good. This is where you got to begin to say, Lord, am I doing my part? Lord, I ask you to begin to deal with me because I want to make sure. Because even when you look in the Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. He said, think about him in all your ways. See, when your mind starts thinking negative, you got to pull your mind back to think on positive things. Think on what he promised you. Thinking on what he told you. Because when you begin to do that, he said, then the word of God said, and then he will guide you on the right path. See, he will guide us, but he got to see us being at a place where we're continually seeking him in prayer. You can't just say, you know, I pray because a lot of times I'm finding out saints are not praying the word. We're praying our feelings. The Bible didn't tell us to pray our feelings. The Bible told us to pray the word. Yeah, it's okay for us to tell God how we feel, but you got to understand you can't be moved by your feelings. You got to give him back his word because that's what he's looking about. He's looking for a people that's going to give him back his word. And see, this is that we want what we want. Can I tell you, you got to want what God wants for you because a lot of times we say, God, how come I want it now. Do you not know God got a set time? And a lot of times we got to get in the timing of the Lord because we're waiting and we want what we want, but we may not be ready. And you got to understand that God knows what's best for us. Tell the Lord, Lord, I trust you. I remember when I for my car, and I I heard God tell me in prayer, not right now, but I said in my mind, I want it now. I went to the place to get qualified, and they told me my debt to ratio was too high. Can I tell you, I was upset when I went back to a place of prayer. I began to say, Lord, I why can't I? I said, I, I do all of this. Why can't I get what I want? The spirit of God began to deal with me. And he began to tell me, you are not ready. You was walking in a place of disobedience. You was walking in a place of blessings where you didn't want to listen to me. And so I had to say, Lord, forgive me. And I had to tell him, Lord, you know what I need. You know the right timing. Can I tell you a month later, as I began to repent and I began to get myself together, God began to tell me, go back to the bank and go get pre-qualified. And I said, well, God, they just told me my debt ratio was too high. This is why I'm telling you, you got to trust God. Because he said, don't lean to don't understand it. Because in my mind, I said, I remember when they told me my debt ratio was too high. I know I hadn't paid off anything. But when I went back to the bank, they qualified me and they gave me a check to go get the car that I want. See, this 
what I'm saying? God is looking for a people that you will trust him to seek refuge in him. So don't look to man and woman, but look unto God because man and woman sometimes will lead you astray or sometimes they will hurt you because you made them your God and not me. And see, and this is the time that we got to go and reset ourselves to get back on the street called straight where we begin to listen to the true and living God. Show me what it is that I need to do. Show me how to seek you. Show me how to stay in the word because God is hearts because he want us to continually come back. He don't want us to keep calling people. He want us to, he want to strengthen the relationship between you and him. And so a lot of